Let's talk a little bit about geolocation and polls. Uh, but before doing that, uh, I'm sure you, you you have hover over curator addresses here, for example, in the offenses tab, or wherever you are. And this is tell you the location where that IP should be. Uh, that's in France, and we do here that that should be China, this is South Korea, this is Brazil. So. And this is in the offenses tab. But what happened with the local addresses, like the 192.168 uh, uh, subnet or 172.16.60 uh, and, and you know, non-routable IP addresses? Well, as you can see in my system, and I set this up and I'm going to show you in a minute how, I set, uh, instead of my latitude and longitude, I put that I'm operating here in the middle of Asia, right? Uh, same scene here. If we hover here, it's actually the same thing. And uh, and where do you set those up? Well, in case that you are not aware, and this is important for what we're going to be doing next in polls, you go to the admin tab, go under network hierarchy, and then on your local network, so I'm going to be showing in here my local network. Here I put the latitude and longitude. Notice that in here is the reverse order, so don't confuse them. So typically people show first the latitude and then the longitude but make sure you put the right thing and you test it make sure that it shows the place where you want the graphic to be and every change that you may hear on the network hierarchy you will need to deploy changes so that keep that in mind i also did the same thing with uh, my if you remember from my uh, pf sense video this is my lan the insecure network and this is the secure network uh, and with, with my router at home with BFSense. Now, once you have that set up and you have deployed your changes, let me show you some things that you can do. This is a uh, dashboard in Pulse and like several others, and we keep getting more uh, contribution from the community. These are in a public box folder, which link is in the video description of all my videos. So you can download the JSON as I show in other files and and then you, you get nice graphics like this. Notice that this is where I am in the middle of uh, somewhere in in Asia. And we are drawing lines. So, so the source IP is green, the destination IP is red, and there are lines. And you know, depending on the toxicity of the of the reputation, IP reputation of the destination, then you get different colors of lines. And, and this is another view in here. And here's a tabular view. So Everything starts in here, and you can use this as a pattern. So let me actually edit the dashboard for you to see it with this search. And, and you're not using everything on the search on, on every graphics, but it's the same search for all of them. So basically, the, the, the select is doing, show me all the source IPs, but count them. If they are rep, uh, repeated, count them as, as one. So the unique uh, source IPs, and the destination IP, and give it this name. And these are the important one, the geo lookup. It's taking the destination IP, and that's the second parameter, geo JSON, and then put it this that's the destination IP. So this this carries the latitude and longitude of the destination IP. Here is the same thing for the source IP, and here we are checking the category of the destination IP, and we put it in here. And here we're putting a level of, of confidence that we think that the destination IP is malware in this column. And same thing with uh, botnet command and control server on the destination IP as C2, C2 uh, confidence. We count the total events, only the ones local to remote. We group it by destination IP in the certain order for malware confidence for the last 24 hours. Standard AQL search. But the important thing is what you do with it. Well, in this particular case, on that graph that we saw, that's just the name, we are selecting geographic chart. And in here we are saying, well, put the source IP and destination IP, and what you are doing on the map is show lines between data sets. So that, that's precisely what shows that line connecting from one to another. This shows the country, this shows the coastal borders, etc. And uh, that that is it. The other thing you can actually do, I click here in general to kind of close that view. 
Here on the destination IP, we see that the destination is red, and that symbol, and the source IP is green, right? As we show on the graph, and we are the, the projecting is a flat. You can actually have the glob. I prefer really this 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 flat chart, right? So that's the way we use that search in that particular view. But we don't have to make it only graph. We can do it in a tabular, in a table, like this. Let's actually edit this view. And we see that it's the very same uh, AQL. And notice that it's refreshing every minute. So this, this query is, is uh, running every minute. And then in the view, what we decide is that instead of the geographic chart, we say, well, this is a table, a tabular display. What columns are we putting? All the columns? No, we are putting this one, that one, and that one. It's actually very simple uh, to do. So it, this is meant to be a very short video, introduc an introduction as a geolocation. Make sure your system is set up for this. So what you see it really makes sense in the views. Remember that you can download, and these are some of the dashboards that I downloaded, and I have them available in that uh, in that particular chart we can actually see that this is this shares they all share the same they don't have to but they can share the same search and then they use different entities notice that this is uh, checking for span anonymization scanning ip and bots so and that's what you see different colors uh, in here because uh, none of those were found as to be uh, malicious in, in the last 24 hours on the offenses in my system. And then here is another tabular view with different columns. You see Xbox category remains the same, destination IP remains the same, but total event count. And, and then you can actually set the, the these uh, gradients and it has a lot of primitives. And we're going to be showing more in the subsequent videos of this series.